Have you ever seen text in a circle that follows the center of the circle perfectly and thought, damn, that looks good. I wish I could do that. Well, good news. It does look good. And even better news is that it's super easy to do in Affinity Designer. So in today's video, that's exactly what we're going to make. So let's do it. So let's get started with this. So this might not look like much, but actually what we're focusing on is putting text within this circle, both at the top and the bottom. And also we may as well add the guy in at the end with the, the thumbs up as well. So like I said, it's actually a lot easier than you think it is. So we'll start off with this artboard here and we'll basically make it from the ground up. So first off, what we need to do is grab the ellipse tool, go to the center of the document, and when you've got snapping tools on, which is this magnet shape here, you'll see a green line for the vertical and a red line for the horizontal. So then you know you're actually in the center of the artboard. If you click, drag, hold, control and shift, you'll make a perfect circle from the center of the artboard and we'll make it, we'll make it a similar size. So we'll make it around about that big. Now what we want to do is head up to the top corner here, swap this to the stroke. And then at the top here, we want to make this stroke reasonably big. And then at the same time, we will change the color of this to something a bit more obvious. So if we increase the stroke to a decent amount of size, now you can fiddle around with this depending on how big you want your text to be, but make sure that you make the stroke big enough for your text to hold, but we can edit things later on as well. So we'll leave it at something like around about 40 pixels. So now that we've got our outside of our circle, what we're going to do is opening the artboard up. We've got our ellipse right there. If we hit Control and J, we'll duplicate that and duplicate it within the same place. So it's actually stacked exactly on top of that first circle. What we now can do is head over to this text tool, which if you don't see the A symbol here and you see the frame one, just right click on it, or you can also hold left click on it and you can click the artistic tool now without clicking on anything if you hover your cursor over the line you'll see that the symbol turns from an a to a t with a squiggly line what that basically means is that that text is now going to follow the circle so if we place it right about the top here and just simply left click we'll have text which if we write something will follow the circle but it's not perfect and it's not aligned. So that's what we'll do next. So if we write something in here, because if you have something there, it makes it easier to arrange stuff there. So we'll make it something like brown bear is awesome. And then what we can do is hit enter or return and say you should, I can't spell, sub to his channel cheap plug with these little green tools that we have here that's the start of the line and the red ones are the end of the line so if we grab this top one here you can see the top text will move and if we grab this one the bottom text will move I just realized I spelled that wrong and if we grab this inside red marker here and bring this along this will show where that line actually ends so what we can do is if we wanted to make this just say brown bear and keep the text within those parameters and instead have this one going a lot further around or we can increase this and make it a lot wider so if we line this up to around about the center and align this one up around about the center as well now what we'll do is we'll align the text so just by selecting this text shape tool head over to the move tool grab one of these corners hit control and shift again to kind of keep it as a circle and just make it slightly smaller if you find that you end up snapping too much and it's not going where you want it to be turn off snapping and you'll have a as a lot smoother control and what your aim is here is to align the top line within the center of that circle so that looks pretty good there forget about the bottom one for now because there's a really simple tool that you can use to align that one so as you notice now this 
top line has actually skewed from being in the center. So if we double click with into this, pick one of these little markers, we can align that in the center again. So now that we have the top part aligned, what we need to do is fit the bottom line within the circle as well. And it's actually super simple. If you click on the text in here and head up to the top here, we've got the baseline, which when you increase this, it changes what the actual baseline of that text is. So by increasing this, you'll see that the text actually spreads out and you can just perfectly align that within the circle there. And that's, that's really it. I, di I did say it was easy. So now all you can do is do what you want with the text and change the font. So if we highlight all of this and let's change the font to something like Abraham, which I tend to like the look of, and we'll increase the size as well. Now by increasing the size, what you'll find is that the outside circle is now too small. So we've got a compromise with this and either make the outside circle slightly bigger or make the text slightly smaller. So in this case, we'll keep the text as it was because it was perfectly aligned. We'll put this back in the center and with the bottom text, if we highlight all of this and we'll simply make that bold and pop that in the center as well. Now, if you wanted to, you can slightly edit this. You can change the text. You can change it to something like you should follow me on Twitch and realign that. And it will keep the same aspect of being around that circle. And what we also can do is selecting all this text, just hit Control and A to select it all. We can recolor text to something a little more interesting, or we could select the background and change the fill of the background or change the stroke of the background, something like that. Or if we wanted to add something like this, head into the stock panel here, type in thumbs up, grab the guy's picture, make this a lot smaller, and then simply drag and drop it underneath or within that circle. And there you go. That's what we've got. Now for a little extra bit, if you click on this circle, head over to layer, down to expand stroke what you'll be left with is actually the stroke itself and what you can do with this now is simply change the size of the stroke itself if you wanted to using the node tool change the stroke in a way because it's actually created it into its own shape rather than being a stroke of the circle so you have a bit more ability to edit the stroke a little bit more so there you go perfectly aligned text within a circle in a super easy way. See, told you it was easy. If you enjoyed the video or learned something new, drop a like and hit that subscribe button to see more helpful tips like this. You can follow me on Instagram, Twitter and Twitch. All those links are in the description below. Feel free to tag me in anything you make using this technique. I'd love to see it. As always, I've been Brown Bear. Thank you for watching. Stay creative and I'll see you in the next one.